So good morning, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Good to be back um, with you guys. And i um, been away for a few weeks. I don't know if you noticed, but I was away. <laughs> it's nice to be back with my uh, TY family. And um, it's nice to see that everybody's in these two portions and not spread out too far. I feel like we're a little bit closer, so that's good as well. And um, I hope that um, this time of Elul, this is a time where we um, have an opportunity to sort of do a sort of a restock about ourselves and our relationship with the Lord and our relationship with others, a time to, uh, you know, think, ponder on, our, on ourselves and our relationships. And I hope that you've had some uh, revelation from the Lord and, um, and even some growth through that. And it's a time, as he shows you things and as you deal with it, it's a time to really be thankful for him and to him because he doesn't, he, he accepts us the way we are, but he doesn't, he loves us so much, he doesn't want to leave us the way we are. So um, what I want to do is just open in prayer, and then I'm going to read Psalm 103. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, for this family, Temple Yeshua, Lord, and I thank you for your heart to grow us um, in intimacy with you, Lord God. I thank you for your discipline and your correction, Lord, and I thank you for your gentleness in dealing with us, Lord God. I thank you, Father, that you see... Um, who you've created us to be, and you are our greatest cheerleader and encourager. So, Father, we just want to lay everything before you, Lord, and we thank you for this opportunity, and we just thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for each other. In Jesus' name, amen. So Psalm 103, and I really like this one. The first five verses almost gives um, a bit of a, a summary of salvation. It's not the whole message, but it's a good part of it. And it's also about um, the Lord, his love, and praising him. And also, in, in terms of praise, it's also a thanks, a thanksgiving and a gratitude. I see it also as a gratitude psalm. So I'll start um, verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And here's a list here who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Five things there, just to think about what he's done for us. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. His ways to Moses, this is he made known his character to Moses. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. That's a good thing. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. So far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. Now that's an interesting, you think of east and west, why not north and south? Because this, this is kind of a sort of a funny thing. Because when you go north, when you start going around, you eventually start going south again, so they kind of meet. But east and west, you keep going east, or you keep going west. I don't know if it's, it's sort of an interesting concept if you think about it. And that's how far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. He flourishes like a flower of the field, for the wind passes over it and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. Now that's interesting if you're thinking about your family. This is a promise, right? His steadfast love is for everlasting to those who fear him. That's who we are. 
and his righteousness to children's children. So there's a family promise in this one. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. And that's why we fight right now through Jesus from victory, right, and not for victory, because he rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Thank you, Lord. Amen.